How's it going? I appreciate you. I really do. I really, really appreciate you. And this is one of the things that I don't do enough. And we're going to talk about appreciating your audience. But first, I want you to know that I appreciate you watching my stories. I want, I appreciate you, you know, commenting, liking, sharing, all that. I really appreciate it. And let me know where you're watching from and say hi so I can get to say hi back to you. So my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and I help you create digital courses so you can live your life on your terms. And today we're going to talk about appreciating your audience. If you're building an audience, you need to once in a while show them appreciation, right? You gotta, first of all, if somebody, I don't know if you're posting something and they share your post, well take a minute and go thank them for sharing your post. If they comment on your post, go and reply to that comment. Either answer or say thanks or, you know, let them know that you appreciate that they're, you know, act, engaging on your stuff. If they're watching your stories, if you're on Snapchat, Instagram, link, uh, not, not LinkedIn, but uh, Snapchat, Instagram, or Facebook stories, you can see people watching your stories. You know, once in a while, go and send them a message. Say, thanks for watching my story, right? You got to let people know that you know that they're contributing to your to your existence. I mean, if they weren't there, hey, how's it going, Fenrich? Doug, Doug Fenrich, sorry. How's it going, Doug? Thanks for watching. It is a good day. It's uh, it's not, it's still very warm out here, but yeah, it's a good day out here in Montreal. Where are you from? Let me know where you're from, uh, Doug. So, yeah, and that's the thing. You know, you gotta, I mean, obviously, you've been watching things on Facebook, you watch videos, you watch stories, you look at posts, you comment on things, you're doing that on every day. Now, why would you do it with my stuff, right? Why would you do it with my posts instead of other people's posts? And same thing with your audience that you're building. And by the way, why are you building an audience if you're creating a course? You should go watch the last video I did. I talk about how an audience is important. Even if you're creating a course, you might be thinking you don't need an audience, but go check that out. And anyway, so that's the thing. Your audience is there. They could be doing anything. They could be doing things other than watching your stuff, other than commenting on your stuff. They don't have to be, you know, in your stuff. They can be in other people's stuff. So why would they stay and watch your stuff? Well, yeah, sure, your content has to be interesting. It has to be something they're interested in. It doesn't mean you have to be like a comedian or a performer or something like that. Sure, it, it can help. You can have bigger audiences that way because that attracts more people. But no matter what it is you're doing, there's people out there that are interested in whatever it is you're doing. It doesn't matter what it is. There are people out there. It's just you got to find them. But after you find them, you got to keep them, right? So you keep them by continuing to produce content, sure. And that's, you know, that keeps some of them around. But a lot of people, and you know, this is just human nature, right? We like to be appreciated. We like to be noticed. We like to be included, right? We like, yeah, hey, the small town of Finley, Nevada. Zero, zero percent, zero percent miles. East of Reno. Oh, okay, cool. I imagine you mean, I don't know, I guess you put a percent there. Maybe you meant 50 miles. So, yeah, cool, Doug. Thanks Thanks for letting us know. I, I've never been to Reno, Nevada, but I've, you know, heard it a lot. Lots of movies, I guess, are made around that area or have that as a place. Um, probably because it's in Nevada, and I guess there's gambling, right? It's one of the cities that have a lot of that. I'm not saying that you're <laughs> like that or not. That I'm just saying like whenever we hear about Reno, I think there's a lot of that about because of that. But anyways, yeah. So yeah, you gotta appreciate your audience. What does that mean? Like I said, you gotta let them know that you notice them. Let them know that you're that you realize that if they weren't there, that you probably wouldn't have the you know the the channel or the audience that you have, right? So. If somebody doesn't watch your stories and somebody doesn't share your stuff, if somebody doesn't comment and like, social media is built that way, right? It's built so that you will lose your audience. 
because they won't show your stuff to other people if nothing uh, if nothing's going on. That's part of it. There's other, you know, tricks or techniques, if you will, to increase your engagement so that your audience continues growing. That kind of stuff. We'll talk about that in another video. But, but yeah, you gotta thank your audience. Appreciate them for anything they do regularly. You know, like I said, I don't do it enough. So hopefully, I'll try to do more. Uh, I certainly do always thank you if you comment or post or, repl or uh, share my posts but maybe I need to do it more often in my stories or in my videos. All right, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And if you think somebody else needs to hear this message, then please go in there and share. I'd certainly really, really appreciate that. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Have yourself a great day.